Okay, here's my setup. I have the mini Arduino inside of a nice little box. The servo power is separate, a little connector. On the other side, there is the AS and L connectors for the servos and a mini USB connector. I use Ham Radio Deluxe, so I launch it. It connects to my radio. And then I launch the satellite tracking program. Once it launches, I open up, uh, let's see, AO7 is the one that's coming up. Satellite Alpha Oscar 07 will be visible in one minute. Then I go to radio control, the tuning control. And under the tuning control, you want to click on the RX. So now that it actually is talking to the radio and controlling the Doppler setting of the radio, that's important you do that first. Then launch the rotator module. Once that comes up, you want to select EasyCom 2. That's what the Arduino likes. Turn on DDE and DDE track and hit the connect button. That's all you need on that side. And then go back to the satellite tracking module. And in there, there's a little button that says rotator. You enable that. And bingo. There she goes. She is now is controlling your pan tilt through the Arduino board. Does a nice job. However, this particular unit has an amazing 30 pounds of torque, but it's still kind of lightweight. It's probably just fine for a single arrow antenna on a small tripod, but I'm using this as a, a learning tool and it's doing fine for that. That's where this big boy comes in. This one has an amazing 109 pounds of torque. It's very well made, has a nice platform on top to connect a cross boom. It's very strong. It's only a pan rotor at this point. So for learning right now, I've got it connected up to a tripod, a piece of PVC for my boom, dual arrow antennas. They're leaning inward so I have opposite polarity of each other. And right now, it, like I said, only does azimuth. I have another one of these coming in that I'm trying to set up for an elevation. So that's where I'm at right now. And all of this has been a nice learning process. I'll let you know how it goes.